Today we're going to strip down a Husqvarna K750 to a short motor. First, you need to detach the water jet from the machine. Using a Torx spanner, remove the two screws to detach the jet from the handle. Then, pull the jets loose from the machine. Again, using a torque spanner, loosen the belt tensioning screw. Now, using a 13mm hex socket spanner, loosen and remove the two bolts to completely free the belt guard. Then, unscrew the two screws to remove the arm casing. You can now remove the belt. Unscrew the four screws from the filter cover using the torque spanner. You can now remove it from the machine. Once again, using a torque spanner, unscrew and remove the air filter base along with the air filter. Then, using the torque spanner, remove the four screws to release the air filter housing. Now, put the machine on its side and remove the four screws to release the recoil assembly along with the air conductor. To remove the ignition coil, remove the two screws which hold it to the machine using the torque spanner. Using the torque spanner again, remove the screw in between the casing and the cylinder. This will free the plastic cover from around the cylinder. Unscrew the spark plug from the machine and replace it with the piston stock. Then, using a torque spanner, loosen the screw which sits within the anti-vibration spring. Now, loosen the screw which sits in between the piston and the black casing. Continue to slowly remove the motor by loosening the screw towards the bottom right of the flywheel. Finally, remove the screw which sits above using a small screwdriver. You will then be able to completely remove the short engine from the machine. With the piston stop in place, use a 19mm spanner to loosen the clutch by rotating it clockwise. Once loosened, you can completely remove it by spinning it clockwise. Remove the clutch, the washer and the clutch pulley from the machine by hand. Then, to remove the flywheel, use a 13mm spanner and loosen the nut by turning it anti-clockwise. You can then spin the nut free from the machine. By hand, screw on the flywheel puller onto the flywheel so it's fixed. Once it's securely on, shock it with a hammer so you can remove it from the machine by screwing off the flywheel puller and pulling off the flywheel. Finally, you need to remove the exhaust. Using the torque spanner, remove the four screws which hold it to the machine. Once removed, you can detach the exhaust from the machine. That's how you strip a Husqvarna K750 down to a short motor.
All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.